Good morning. I'm very happy to be here with you. And see so many young faces. I want to tell you that you are very precious in the kingdom of God. And your life is very precious. Now many young people might think, you know, I don't have much money. I don't have much education. A lot of things in my life is not sure yet. So many youth might think I'm not important. And then you might look down upon yourself. But I want to tell you that according to the word of God, you are very precious. You are very, very important. God will do great things in your life. God will bless your life if you follow God faithfully. Now, there are two ways to run your life. Because God is in control of everything. Do you believe everything is in God's hand? Yes. If you follow God and love God and obey God, everything in your life will go better and better and better. But if you follow your sinful nature, I want to share with you when I became a Christian I was 20 years old when I heard that there is a God I was very very happy because before I became a Christian I wonder you know what is the meaning of life and then when I, you know, before I became a Christian, I asked myself, what is the meaning of life? And then um, the thought came to me, I study so that I can work one day. Because my question was, why should I study so hard? When, and my answer was when I study one day I can get a job and then I said what after that then I will get married and perhaps have children and then what after that and then I said, well, uh, I will, you know, get older. And one day I'll get very old and sick. And one day I will die. And I said, what is the meaning of life? And then one day I will die. So I just live for this life. I want to look for meaning in life. And when I heard there are proofs that God is real, I was very excited. There is God. There is heaven. There is life after death. I was very excited. And when I study the Bible, I look for proofs if this is from God. And I found that God is real. And I was very excited. 
And then I begin to follow God. Na sasa nikaanza kumfuata Mungu. I finished reading the New Testament in a short time. Nikamaliza kusoma Agano Jipya kwa muda mchache tu. I kept reading it a few times. Nikaendelea kuisoma nikirudia rudia. And then when I start to have income, na sasa nilipoanza kupata hela, I started to give one tenth of my income to the Lord. Nikaanza kutoa fungu langu la kumi kwa Bwana. And then the Lord blessed me. Na Mungu akanibariki. So God opened the way for me. Kwa hivyo Mungu akanifungulia njia. Because I love God and I follow God. Manake nampenda Mungu na mfuata Mungu. I told all my friends about Jesus. Mimi ninawaambia marafiki wangu wote kumhusu Yesu. Every friend of mine I told them about Jesus. Kila rafiki yote ile wa kwangu ninamwambia kuhusu Yesu. Even my stepmother, hata yule mamangu wa kambo. Every time I told her about Jesus. Kila mara ninamzungumzia kuhusu Yesu. She was very angry. Alikuwa mtu wa hasira. She told me don't tell me about Jesus anymore. Akaniambia wacha kunizungumzia kuhusu Kristo Yesu mara nyingi tena. And I wait for us here of time. Na sasa nikaendelea kwa muda. And I told her about Jesus again. Na tena nikaanza kumzungumza kuhusu Mungu. And she got angry again. Na tena akakasirika. And I wait for a period of time. Na tena nikatulia kwa muda. And I told her again. Na nikamwambia tena. So I kept telling people about Jesus. So nikaendelea kuwazungumzia watu kuhusu Kristo. And God was very happy. Na Mungu alikuwa na furaha. That I love God so much. Ya kwamba nampenda Mungu zaidi. And God bless me. Na Mungu akanibariki. Let me tell you my family was very poor. Wasani niwaambie familia yangu ilikuwa ile familia ya maskini. When I was young, nilipokuwa mchanga, sometimes I ate rice with mold on it. Wakati mwingine nilikuwa nakula ule ule wali ambao tayari umekwisha kuoza. It was very bad rice. Ulikuwa ni wali mbaya. And then you know, we just wash away the mold and cook it and eat it. Yaani ilikuwa tu ule uchafu ule uchafu ambao uko ndani ya wali tunauosa tu alafu tunaula. And very often I just ate rice with soy sauce on, on it. Na wakati mwingi nilikuwa tunakula ule wali ukiwa na ile supu ya ya soya bean. No, not not soy the sauce the soy bean yeah right. Yeah right. <laughs> Sorry. And I did not have sometimes we did not have vegetable or fish or meat. Wakati mwingine hatukuwa na mboga za majani, hatukuwa na samaki, hatukuwepo hata na nyama. So my family was always short of money. Ina maana kwamba familia yangu kila wakati ilikuwa haina hela. But when I love God, lakini napompenda Mungu, God did this for my life. Mungu akafanya hili kwenye maisha yangu. God gave me the chance to go overseas to study. Mungu akanipa nafasi ya kwenda zile nchi za ngambo kusoma. Someone just offered that to me. Kuna mtu ambaye alijitoa ili kunisomesha. And I had a chance to go to the university. Na sasa nikapata nafasi ya kwenda kwenye university. And, and go to seminary. Na nikaenda kwenye yale mafundisho ya juu pia. And had two master degrees. Mimi yeye ako na masters mbili. When we want to follow God, tuna tukitaka kumfuata Mungu. And love God na kumpenda Mungu. God sees your heart. Mungu anaona moyo wako. And God likes your heart. Na Mungu anapenda moyo wako. And he will bless your life. Na atabariki maisha yako. Do you want God to bless your life? Je, ungelipenda Mungu abariki maisha yako? God is very real. Mungu ni kweli. God has the power to bless you. Mungu wako na uwepo wa kukubariki. Let me tell you right now in Hong Kong. Washini waambie sasa hizi katika kule Hong Kong kwao. Well God provided for me. Wakati Mungu aliponitoshinipa zilizohitaji. In my ministry. Katika huduma wangu, I did not receive salary. Mimi sikupata mshahara. And then I go overseas. Lakini mimi naenda kwenye mataifa ya nje from the donation of some people kutoka tu kwa zile kutoka tu kwa yale kupeana kwa watu ambao wanapeana kwenye huduma wangu wetu you know but god provided for me unajua mungu anapeana kwangu that god used me to have training school ya kwa, people ya kwamba mungu ananisaidia kuwa na mafundisho nikifundisha watu kwa mashule tofauti 
And also God gave me, you know, a, a way of ministry to bless many people. You can go online on YouTube. You look for Pastor Yip Y I P. You can see my videos. And many people ask me for help. Na watu wengi wananiuliza ili kwa msaada. God has opened the way for me to go to different countries in Africa. Na Mungu pia amenifungulia kwenda katika mataifa tofauti ya Afrika. To Russia. Russia. Ameenda kule Urusi, Egypt, ameenda kule Misri and uh, uh, the Philippines. Ameenda katika nchi ya Filipi pia. And also recently a pastor from Holland called me na juzi hata kuna mchungaji ambaye amempigia simu kutoka kule Uholanzi to go there i will go there in february atakuwa anaenda kule Uholanzi mwezi wa pili i'm telling you god opens the way to bless you na kuambia mungu anapofungua njia za kukubariki when you love god wakati unapompenda tu now when washington told me about the need of the school the bible school tulipomwambia kuhusu itaji na shule ya biblia And I told my people and some other people in Hong Kong. Nikaambia watu wengine na wale watu wengine kutoka kule Hong Kong. And then we raised some money for the for the the building here. Na sasa wakasanya pesa ambazo zilijenga ule mjengo mnaoona pale. It's all from the provision of God. Hiyo yote imetoka katika ule upeanaji wa Mungu. When I went to Tanzania, alipoenda Tanzania, and then I saw many children. Na nikaona watoto wengi. And the pastor said he need to build a uh, a Sunday school building for the children. Na yule mchungaji akamwambia kwamba anahitaji la kujenga chumba la watoto. And then I, you know, I told my people and and some of the people in Hong Kong. Na nikaambia watu wangu kule Hong Kong and I raised enough money to build a building. Na wakakusanya pesa za kutoa za kujenga ule mjengo. In just a few days time. Kwa siku tatu pesa zilikuwa zimetosha za kujenga tulijenga mjengo kubwa kule Tanzania. What I want to tell you is. Kile nataka kukuambia ni hiki. If you set your heart in God, unapo um, peana moyo wako kwa Mungu. And say God loves me. Na useme kwamba Mungu ananipenda. I want to follow God. Nataka kumfuata Mungu. God will bless your life. Mungu atabariki maisha yako. And God loves you very much. Na Mungu atakupenda zaidi. Will you tell the person next to you God loves you very much? Ambie jirani yako Mungu anakupenda zaidi. Mungu anakupenda zaidi. God loves you so much. Thank you. You are very important in the sight of God. Wewe ni mtu wa muhimu machangu machoni kwa Bwana. Let me tell you when I was young. Wacha nikwambie wakati nilipokuwa kijana, I was beaten in my home a lot. Nilichapwa viboko sana kwa ibomo letu zaidi. I hear in the home. Na sasa hata watu walinipigia walinipigia kelele. But that doesn't matter. Lakini hiyo haijalishi. Because God has a way to bless me. Manake Mungu ako na njia kunibariki. When I follow God, ninapomfuata Mungu. I hope you believe that. Naamini kwamba pia wewe utaamini hivyo. You know you can become a great person. Unajua unaweza kufanyika kuwa mtu mkuu zaidi. Do you believe that? Je, unaamini hiyo? Yes. You can become a great person. Waweza kuwa mtu mkubwa zaidi. When you follow God faithfully. Unapomfuata tu Mungu kwa uaminifu. When you love God, unapompenda Mungu, then you be blessed by God. Kwa kweli utabarikiwa na Mungu. But if you follow the world, lakini unapofuata ya ulimwengu, if you just want to find a boy or a girl who loves you, ya kwamba unahitaji tu kupata kijana ama binti atakayekupendeza, or if you just want to have sex with some of the opposite sex ama wewe unatafuta tu kufanya ndoa kufanya mapenzi na yule mtu ambaye ako yule anayekupenda i tell you your life will be ruined na kuambia maisha yako yataharibika god would not like your life mungu hatapenda maisha yako and you will have problems in your life na utakuwa na matatizo kwenye nyumba yako so i hope you see that god is so good kwa hivyo nataka ujue kwamba mungu ni mwema zaidi no one can run away from the hands of god hakuna yeyote awezaye kutoroka 
kwenye mikono za Mungu. And he will bless you. Na yeye atakubariki. Now this morning, kwa hiyo asubuhi ya leo, I want to talk about the love of God. Nataka kuzungumza kuhusu upendo wa Mungu. God loves you very very much. Hali Mungu anakupenda vile ulivyo zaidi zaidi. He cares about you. Anakujali. He has a wonderful plan in your life. Akona mpango wa kipekee katika maisha yako. He wants to do great things in your life. Anataka kufanya vitu vikuu katika maisha yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God will do great things in your life. Na Mungu atafanya vitu vikubwa maishani mwako. Okay? Now I can read you the passages. You can write down the Bible verse. Nataka utanakili chini hizi mistari za kibiblia. In Psalm 139 verse 5. Katika Zaburi 139 mstari wa 5, Zaburi 139 mstari wa 5. You have enclosed me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Ya kwamba Mungu umenifunga huko mbele yangu na nyuma yangu na unaniwekea mikono yako. Now you just write down the verse and then you look at me. Yaani unaandika tu ile mstari alafu unamogora macho huko mbele. Sema amen. The Lord is in front of you and behind you. Ya kwamba Mungu wako mbele na nyuma and he wants to bless you. Na anataka kukubariki. The Lord is with us all the time. Mungu wako na sisi kila wakati. Even before we became a Christian. Hata kama haujafanyika kuwa mkristo. God already knew you. Mungu alikujua and he loves you. Na alikupenda and he looks for you. Na anakutazama. Now let me ask you. Washini waulize. When you first heard about Jesus. Uliposikia kuhusu Kristo siku ya kwanza. Did you feel God drawing you to believe in Jesus? Je, uliisi ni kana kwamba Mungu anakuvuta ukapata kumwamini Kristo? Maybe you say you said at that time I don't want to believe in Jesus. Ama wakati ule ulisema kwamba mimi sitaki hata kuamini kwa Kristo. But God will draw your heart. Lakini Mungu anavuta moyo wako and he will speak to you na anakunenea and draw you na anakuvuta kwake to attract you to follow Jesus. Anakuvuta ili ukampate kumwamini Kristo. And finally you say yes I want to follow Jesus. Na mwisho unasema kwamba kwa kweli nataka kumfuata Yesu. So before you became a Christian wakati uli, ulikuwa haujafanyika mkristo God already knew you Mungu kwa tayari alikujua and he was ministering to you in front of you and behind you na alikuwa nakuhudumia mbele na nyuma yako and he lay his hand upon you to bless you na alikuwa nakuwekea mkono wake ili akubariki na how many of you have experienced God attracting you to believe in Jesus how many of you kwa ishara ya mkono jeni wangapi ambapo wanahisi ni kana kwamba Mungu anawavuta ili wamwamini Kristo Now thank God for that. God works in your hearts. Tunashukuru hilo manake Mungu anafanya katika mioyo zenu. Now after you became a Christian, na sasa ulipofanyika mkristayo, do you feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you? Je, unahisi ni kana kwamba Roho Mtakatifu ananena na neno lako? Now some people say I don't know. Eh wakati mimi unasema kwamba mimi sifahamu, sijui. But I want to tell you every real Christian will hear from God. But lakini nitakwambia kwamba kila mkristo atasikia kutoka kwa Mungu. When you sin, unapotenda dhambi, when you do something wrong, unapofanya kitu ambacho ni kibaya, do you feel very bad in your heart? Je, unahisi kwamba unachomeka ndani ya moyo wako? Compared to you before you became a Christian. Unapolinganisha na vile ulivyokuwa hujafanyika kuwa mkristo. Before you became a Christian, ulipokuwa haujafanyika kuwa mkristo, You might not feel so bad when you sin. Hauwezi ukasikia vibaya wakati unapotenda dhambi. But after you became a Christian, lakini baada ya kufanyika kuwa mkristo, when you sin, unapofanya dhambi, you feel very bad in your heart. Unasikia ni kana kwamba unachomeka ndani ya moyo wako. Because God works in your heart. Manake Mungu anafanya katika moyo wako. To tell you is wrong to sin. Kukwambia kwamba ni vibaya kutenda dhambi. Because sin separate us from the love of God. Manake dhambi zimetutenganisha na upendo wa Mungu. When we say, you know, that we don't have a close relationship with God. Wakati tunapotenda dhambi hauna uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu. So, when we say God is not happy. Kwa hivyo unapotenda dhambi Mungu hananga furaha. God will come to move in your heart. Mungu atakuja katika moyo wako. So what I say is Even when we said, kila sema ni kwamba hata wakati tunapofanya dhambi, God works in the heart. Mungu anafanya katika mioyo zetu. How many of you 
When you sin, you feel bad in your heart. Can you raise your hand? So that is God working in your heart. So that is God in front of you and behind you all the time. And blessing you all the time. Now, for me, in 1998, Mimi katika mwaka wa elfu moja tisaini na nane That was, you know, I believe in Jesus in 1970 Yeye aliamini kristo mwaka wa thema sabini So, 28 years after I became a Christian Baada ya miaka ishirina minane yeye kumuamini kristo An evangelist lay hand on me Kuna muinjilisi alie mwekea mikono The moment he lay hand on me Wakati alipo mwekelea mikono I felt power like electricity enter me Nilisikia mbuvu kama umeme ziki niingia And I felt great love enter me Na nikahisi upendo mkubwa wabwana And then I was so touched with the love Na sasa nikagulo zaidi na upendo I cried for a long time Nililia kwa mda mrefu and I said, I didn't know God's love can come to be so strong. And I really love God much more after the experience. And I spent a long time praying. And every time I pray, or think of Jesus, I feel power coming into me. I also felt joy coming to me. Every time I think of Jesus, His joy will come into my heart. I felt joy every time I, I think of Jesus. Hallelujah! <laughs> And the joy will flow up. <laughs> and I feel power. <laughs> so I see that God is really with me all the time. I want to tell you that. God cares about you like that too. He is with you all the time. He cares about you. He is in front of you and behind you. He wants to bring big blessings to you. If you really want to follow God totally, your whole life will go higher and higher. Now, another Bible verse is Psalm 49, verses 15. Mustari wengine ambao unafuata ni Isaya 49, mustari wa 15 hadi 16. Isaya 49, mustari wa 15 hadi 16. Here it says, can a mother forget a baby at her breast and have no compassion on a child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. Inasema kwa mba je, kuna mama ambaye anaweza kusawa kumimiesha mtoto? Na sasa inasewa kwa mba, mimi kama mungu siwezi ni kakusaha uwewe. Now, I know most of you are youth, but is there a mother here? How many mothers here? Na inaona kwa mba wengiwe, nukuli limijani. Ni wangapi ni wamama? How many are mothers here? Wangapi wakona watoto ya ni dokilo kwa shinaulize. Let me ask you. Kwa shini ni waulize. When you go shopping, unapo enda kule kueme, unanyo kueme, ama kununua vitu. Or when you take a bus, do you ever forget your baby and say, where did I leave my baby? Have you forgotten your baby somewhere? Did I leave my baby in a shop or on the bus? Do mothers forget the babies? No. So mothers don't forget the babies. And God said, even if a mother forgets the baby, I will not forget you. 
I think about you all the time. Ninakufikiria wewe kila wakati. I want to bless you all the time. Nataka nikubariki kila wakati. I have a wonderful plan in your life. Niko na mpango wa ajabu maishani mwako. So anytime when anyone responds to God, kwa hivyo kila wakati mtu anapomuitikia Mungu, God is very happy. Mungu anafuraha. When you say to God, unaposema kwa Mungu, God I need you. Mungu nakuhitaji. I want you. Ninakutaka. Please come to me. Tafadhali njoo kwangu. Please bless me. Tafadhali ukanibariki. God is very happy. Mungu anafuraha and he will bless you. Na atakubariki. So remember that wherever you go, kwa hivyo kumbuka popote unapokwenda, God remembers you all the time. Mungu anakukumbuka kila wakati. God thinks about you all the time. Mungu anakufikiria wewe kila wakati. And God wants to do great things in your life. Na Mungu anataka kufanya vitu vikubwa maishani mwako. Now let me ask you, wacha niwaulize. If you fall into the ocean, unapoanguka kwenye bahari, and someone walk by, na sasa mtu alikuwa naye anapita and pull you out from the ocean. Na sasa umeanguka kwenye bahari ulikuwa maji ya kuue na mtu anapita anakuokoa kwenye ile bahari. Would you be very thankful to the person? Je, utamshukuru sana huyu mtu? You say, oh, thank you, thank you. Usemeni asante, asante. I could have died. Ah, ningekufa. But you saved me. Lakini umeniokoa. You be, you know, you you want to do things for that person. Unajua unatamani kufanya vitu vikubwa kwa ajili ya huyu mtu. Let me tell you, wacha nikwambie. God has saved us. Mungu ametuokoa and he wants to bless your life. Na anataka kubariki maisha yako. Your whole life will go higher and higher. Maisha yako yataenda juu na juu zaidi. So I hope you respond to God. I hope you respond to God like this. Nataka pia wewe utamuitikia Mungu kwa sampuli hii. Then you say God you're so wonderful. Useme kwamba Mungu wewe ni wa ajabu. I don't deserve your love. Hey, si tani si I don't deserve your love. Si kufaa kupata upendo wako. But you have loved me so much. Lakini umenipenda zaidi. I want to thank you. Nataka nikushukuru. I want to love you. Nataka nikupende. That's how we want to respond to God. Hivyo ndivyo ambavyo inafaa tukamuitikie Mungu. All day long. Kwa hivyo siku zako zote. If you think about God all day long. Unapofikiria kumhusu Mungu siku yote. Say God I love you. Useme kwamba Mungu nakupenda. I need you. Ninakuhitaji. I want you. Ninakutaka. I want to obey you. Nataka nikakutii. I want to tell people about Jesus. Nataka kuambia watu kuhusu Kristo. Then God is very happy with you. Kwa kweli Mungu atakuwa na furaha na wewe. The wonderful things will happen in your life. Vitu vyema vitafanyika do you believe this? Je, unaamini hayo? Unasema yes ama no. Unaamini hayo? Yes. I hope you all believe. Kwa hivyo naamini kwamba kila mmoja utaamini. I respond to God with excitement. Na ukamuitikia Mungu katika njia ya msisimko. I'm so happy to have God. Useme mimi niko na furaha kwa Mungu. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, whenever I think of Jesus, the joy of the Lord will flow out. I pray for many people. Na kwa wengi. Who are going through a lot of pain. I pray for many people. Many people get healed. I drove out demons from many people. And many people also experience the joy of the Lord. Na watu wengi pia wamehisi furaha ya Bwana. Or the love of God. Ama upendo wa Mungu. And God can use you like that too. Na Mungu inaweza kukufanyikia wewe hivyo. If you love God all the time, unapompenda Mungu kila wakati, he will give you a strong presence. Mungu analuleta uwepo wake unakuwa wa nguvu. You have a strong presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. Unakuwa na uwepo na nguvu nyingi za Mungu. And then when you pray for people, na sasa unapoombea watu, you see people healed. Unaona watu wameponywa. You drive out demons from people. Unafukuza mapepo kwenye watu. And then you will experience the joy of the Lord. Na sasa utaanza kuhisi furaha ya Mungu. And you can help people experience the joy of the Lord. Na sasa pia uweza kuwasaidia watu kuhisi furaha ya Mungu. God is very very real. Mungu ni Mungu wa ukweli. 
Whenever I think of Jesus, <laughs> the joy of the Lord will come. <laughs> now let me ask you here, are there two persons who want to come out and pray for you right here? Two persons come out right here, I'll pray for you. To show you that God can come very in a very real way. God loves you and want to bless you. The reason why I want to pray for you in front of the other people so you know that God is very real. You know that he comes anytime when we pray. Okay, so are there two persons who hunger for God and come out? Hunger, you're Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. Now everyone pray. Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. Asante, yes. Asante, yes. Asante, yes. Asante, yes. Asante, close your eyes. Funga macho yako. Think. Think of Jesus now. Love Jesus now. He can come to you too. And I will appear to put him there. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we welcome Jesus. We welcome Jesus. We welcome Jesus. Asante Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Asante. You can say with me. To you be pamoja. Asante Yes. Asante Yes. Asante Yes. Asante Yes. I love you, Yes. Na kupenda Yes. Oh, welcome, Jesus. Karibu Yes. Karibu Yesu. 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 I love Yesu. Nakupenda 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 Yesu. I need Jesus. Nakuita Yesu. Nakuita Yesu. Yes. 
Nakuita Yesu, Nakuita Jesu, Nakuita Yesu, Nakuita Yesu, Nakuita Yesu, Nakuita Yesu, Alleluia, 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 Asante Yesu, Asante Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now keep your eyes closed. Let me ask you, how many people here do you feel peace or burdens go away when we were praying? Could you raise your hand and keep your hands up? Kwa ishara ya mkono, ni wangapi ambao tulipo kuwa tukiendelea na haya maumbezi, wanasikia kwamba wako na furaha, wanasikia amani ya Yesu Kristo, wanasikia mizigo zimeondolewa, ukainue mkono wako juu. Could you take the two cameras? Now keep your hands up. Mwinue mikono juu, alafu weo mpiga picha, ukapindue zo picha zote, zika unye hizo mikono. Come out and help him. Take the two cameras. Take the other two cameras. Now go very slowly. Very slowly. Don't move so fast. Everyone... If you have experienced the peace of burdens go away, raise your hand and say thank you, Jesus. Now keep your hands up. Slowly, keep your camera slowly. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I ask these two gentlemen here, two young men here. Okay, now you can put the cameras down. Okay, here, turn, turn around and tell them what you have experienced. Now you can put your hands down now. Okay. Now tell them, tell them what you have experienced. I feel so delighted. And I feel the power of God. He is feeling the power of God. And he is feeling the power of God. Do you feel peace? Yes, I feel peace. And how about the body? Do you feel? I feel the body is relaxed. Uh-huh. And I feel the body is relaxed. How about you? And I feel the body is relaxed. He is feeling very good. He is feeling the love of God. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like to ask you to close your eyes. Everyone, close your eyes. And cry to Jesus. Cry out aloud. I thank you, Jesus. You're so real. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for coming to us. You're so wonderful. Cry out from your heart. Now, so you lead it. You lead it to lead them to cry out, follow you together. here or the two of you have you felt a stronger presence of God when you cry out now when you open your heart God will come to you stronger so anyone here you feel a stronger presence of God. You can raise your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How about two of you? Do you feel any stronger? Yeah, can you say it? Can you say it? Jay, was it kwamba He says he is in the presence of the feeling the Strong Christ of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Huh? Now, try this. You know, Africans like to dance, and then you all oh, dance the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Does anyone here feel joy? Can you describe it? Can you describe it? It is wonderful. He says it is an assembly. Now, turn to me. Close your eyes. Think of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Everyone close your eyes. Oh, hallelujah. Relax. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Now you all try this. Let's go. We can get a book. Say my baby. Ah. My future. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Does anyone here feel joy flowing through you? Jay, kuna mtu ambaye anasikia kuna furaha kweli? Yes. How many feel joy? Kwa ishara ya mkono ngapi na hizi furaha? Would the two of you take up the camera? Take up the camera. Turn around. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Turn to the pole, 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 pole. Come on, we know we can do that. 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 Hallelujah. Now, have you seen that God is very real? Have you seen that God is very real? So, if you love God, will He loves bless you? Will you see more blessings in your life? So I hope you follow God all your lifetime. You know that God really loves you. Hallelujah. 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 Now let me tell you some ways that you can pray to experience God more. One is the prayer of grace. Prayer of grace. Grace is from God. So you cry out and say, now everyone stand up and, and say this. God loves me. God loves me. Now this is prayer of grace. It's from God to us. God loves me. God loves me. God cares about me. God cares about me. God is in front of me and behind me. God is in front of me and behind me. God is laying his hand upon me. God is laying his hand upon me. God has a wonderful plan in my life. God has a wonderful plan in my life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So that's the 
prayer, prayer of grace. Hiyo ni hilo ndio ombi la Nehema from God to us. Yaani Nehema ni maombi inayotoka vitu zinazotoka kwa Mungu zikija kwetu. And then the prayer of worship. Worship. Na ombi la ibada, ombi la ibada is from us to God. Ni lile linalotoka kwetu likimwendea Mungu. I love God. Ninaupenda sema hayo rudia nyuma yani. I love God. I need God. I need God. I want God. I want God. I like God. I like God. I'm happy with God. I'm happy with God. I worship God. I worship God. I praise God. I praise God. Oh, Jesus. Now, if you think of the blessings of God all the time, God is blessing me. Mungu And I'm loving God. Every day. Kila wakati. When you wake up, you say this. God is blessing me. Mungu God is loving me. Mungu God wants to bless me. Mungu And then you say, I love you, Lord. I need you, Lord. And then God will come to you. Na sasa Mungu atakukuja kwako. Now I will spend some time praying for you. Nitachukua muda nikiwaombeeni. I cannot pray for everyone at the same time. Siwezi nikaombea kila mmoja wakati mmoja. Whoever wants to you come to the front. Yule ambaye atahitaji maombi atakuja mbele. I pray for you for a short time. Ninakuombea kwa muda mchache. And then you have to pray some worship. Na sasa tutakuwa na nyimbo za kuabudu na kusifu. And then we have the message again. Na sasa tutaendelea na ujumbe mara tena. Okay. Now so those who want to Receive the blessings of God. Wale ambao wangelipenda kupata baraka za Mungu. I tell you some of you will experience a stronger presence of God. Nataka kuambia wengine mtahisi sasa ule uwepo wa Mungu zaidi. Do you want a closer relationship with God? Je, ungelipenda kuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu? Now I hope I can pray for all of you at least once or more twice or three times during this conference. Na mimi nataka kusema kwamba wewe mtu mmoja na unaweza ukaombewa hata zaidi ya mara tatu wakati wa kipindi hiki cha kongamano. And then every day you love God all the time. Na sasa wewe kila siku unaendelea kumpenda Mungu. And then you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Na sasa utajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. So I hope you really pray to God a lot all the time. Na mimi kwamba utaomba Mungu kwa nguvu kila wakati. Now it's mostly a, rela- a prayer relationship. Ya muhimu ni kwamba yani kila wakati inakuwa maombi ni uhusiano. You say Lord I love you. Useme kwamba Mungu nakupenda. Nakuhitaji. And you are loving me. Unanipenda zaidi. You don't have to say many things. Sio lazima uzungumze maneno mengi. You can say this over and over. Unaweza kusema tu haya ukirudia When you pray like that, you experience it more and more. Oh, 